Okay, I'm going to show you how to sew one of these lace masks. It's got two layers of cotton material and then the lace on top of it. And then the two ear loops. We are using six by nine pieces of fabric. Two of those and then one lace piece six by nine and my elastics are seven and a half inches so we're going to start by layering your fabrics you're going to put two of the base color fabrics together no you're going to put you're going to sandwich them this and you're going to treat this piece of fabric and the lace as one piece while you sew. So start on one of the edges and you're going to start about halfway down and go to half an inch from the corner and stick your elastic in there. Up. remember this is treated as one piece so you're going to put your elastic in between the lace layer and the bottom fabric layer there into the corner and I always reverse stitch over the elastic so it doesn't come out Keep your elastic out of the way so you don't sew on top of it. And then bring the other piece to the corner. My pieces don't exactly line up, but that's good. The lace can make the rest of the fabric be slippery, so just make sure you don't lose it. Add your next piece of elastic in the corner. Turn again, tuck your elastic piece inside, bring the back end into the corner, now you're going to sew to about two inches before the start of this so you can have a turning hole. Back stitch, so it locks. And cut your thread. Now when you turn, you're going to take, figure out where you sewed your elastic underneath and it was underneath the lace piece here. So you're going to turn it right side out. If you s turn this backward, your lace is going to trap your elastic. So just make sure you do it the right way. Okay, now we have a rectangle with our elastic pieces. You're going to add pleats to it. 
this is your opening. I usually put that towards the top when I sew. And when I do the pleats, you don't have to. Make sure your corners are pulled out. If you need to, you can use a bodkin to turn, but mine are okay. Grab your pins. You're gonna create three pleats in here. I just eyeball it, I don't measure. Try to get them pretty even. Now your turning hole was up here, so you're going to make sure that seam is tucked in. And I usually start about here to start sewing, about a quarter of an inch seam. We're going to top stitch. Make sure you don't trap your ear loop in the back. So we're closing the turning hole now. Stop and turn. Pull your pins out as you go. Stop at a quarter inch of the bottom. Now you want to make sure you don't gather your um, fold here and sew it by accident, so I push it out of the way. And I make sure I'm only getting this seam. turn. Turn one more time and this is where I started so you're just going to end there and knot it. thread and then you can trim your thread pieces off don't cut your lace and now you have your mask that's it